Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mystique here, and welcome to, I guess, an interesting little let's play that we're going to do. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that everything's set correctly. So this here is actually a game in early access. It's called Them's Fightin' Herds. Obviously a little playoff words there. But for those who may or may not know about this game, as I stated, it is early access. It's still kind of a little bit in early stuff right now. At the moment though, because there isn't a story mode, we'll probably just do arcade. And there's not too much to do, I guess, at the moment. But um, basically a little history lesson on this game. So this game, a good couple of years ago, originally was supposed to be a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan game. It was originally known as Fighting is Magic, and I do remember this way back when. But unfortunately at that time, whenever My Little Pony was really blowing up, or at least the Friendship is Magic series was really blowing up, unfortunately Hasbro was getting very controlling of their IP, and they decided to kind of send out cease and desist, and unfortunately to the development team behind this game, that was what they did. They sent a cease and desist to them, told them, you can't do that, you have to scrap the whole thing, and that was the last I'd actually personally myself heard. Now, I didn't realize that... Uh, around this time like I said keep in mind I knew about it at the time when it was a My Little Pony fan game but I didn't realize that they ended up getting a bit of stroke of luck come their way and the I believe it was she was the executive producer behind the fighting um behind the uh Friendship is Magic series Lauren Faust she contacted them she told them I can help you still make this a game if you're still interested and so what she's done and I'll show you right here. We'll go into arcade mode because there is no storm mode available yet. Like I said, still early access, still early, early on. She pretty much what she did is she went ahead and designed for them a brand new cast of characters that are originally made for this game in particular. Now, of course, each of these characters kind of represent each of the different ponies. If you know anything about the Friendship is Magic series, you probably kind of recognize which of the ponies that these all represent. But the main point of this game is that, like I said, it is a fighting game. So right now at the moment we're just going to kind of fool around. And also today it is Christmas, you know, so I guess for those of who do celebrate the holiday, you know, Merry Christmas to you. If not, you know, Happy Holidays is just the same. And I figured it would be kind of fun to see how far we could get into the arcade mode for Velvet. Which, as you can see, she is a reindeer. And I have already on my own kind of tried out a little bit of what this game does or doesn't do. So, keep in mind, fighting games are not really my big level expertise. I am kind of one of those typical button masters to some degree. I will try to do the best I can. I'll try to see how far we can get, but I don't, I don't know. It just kind of depends. But so far, some of these characters I've kind of tried out a little bit on my own in training mode. So, we'll just do the best we can here. But like I said, in celebration of the season, we're going to go ahead and play as Velvet. So, let's see. Loading. Lucky you. You get to be defeated by me. Round one. Fight. Okay, so let's see if we can go ahead. Ah, hello. Okay, like I said, I I know I'm only doing so well with this game. Ah. Ah, hello. Okay, I'm really getting my Okay. I'm really getting my ass kicked, I know that much. Probably have to do better with the control pad. There we go. I was trying to use the control stick for this, but unfortunately it doesn't work as well my control stick as opposed to just the regular D-pad. Ah. I need to watch it though, I'm not very- like I said, I've tried kind of fooling around with this. I am not as good as I- Ah, oh, crap I lost. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, let's try again. Oh, yep. Oh, hello. I'm kind of wishing I would have been faced off against another character as opposed to Arizona. But anyway, ow! Especially since she's cornering me right now, and I don't like that. <laughs> Come on. And that's because I was actually- that's because I was testing with Velvet too, that's the sad part about it. 
Oh, crap. I do admit, though, I've actually gone online because on the website for this game, you can't... Aw, oh, I lost. Crap. Oh, come on! I was already down! Uh, let's try again. And of course... Oh, <laughs> do they make the... Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I do like the personalities of these characters. As I stated, this originally was a fan game for My Little Pony. So if you know anything about the characters, you do recognize some of the character traits. But the one thing I have to give Lauren Frost credit on is the fact that she did... Ah, crap! Shit, I did not want her to do that. One of the things I have to give her credit on is the fact that she could take some aspects of the pony's personalities and make a brand new character from them. So, that's something I definitely like that she's done, actually. Ah! Oichi was jeez. I'm kind of wishing this game would have had me face off against one- Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Velvet's so full of herself, but it's cute, though. The only thing I kind of regret is that I'm not very good at doing the super attacks, unfortunately. The characters do have super techniques, and like I said, I'm pretty much a button match when it comes to this stuff. I try to do the best I can, but I can't guarantee it. You know, it takes... I'm definitely not doubting if you actually... Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, if you watch anyone who actually knows how to play this game properly, and like I said, it's only been out for a certain number of months, actually. Ah! Crap, get off of me. In... Oh, well I did the attack. The problem is that attack works better if she was further away. <laughs> oh man, I almost... Oh, gotcha. <laughs> anyway. Oof. That was a little toughy. So, Sparky, how shall you fare against the Ice Queen? So, Ice Queen, let us see how fast you melt. No. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is one of the characters that I did do practice. Oh, I don't even know how I did that. Good lord. I. Okay. So, one thing I've noticed about this character, I believe her name is Tian Hao. Crap. Her attacks are more like in the air, so I'm trying to avoid from her trying to fly me all over the place. One thing I should probably try doing is blocking. Blocking would probably help me more. Ow! Stop it! Oh my goodness. Yeah, crap. I love the attitude that Velvet does have, though. Yeah, we, we see, I see, we all see. So, as I was saying earlier, if you know anything about the Friendship is Magic series, it's obvious that aspects of Velvet's personality is based off of rarity. Which, for those of you who don't know who that is, that's the white unicorn with the little diamonds on her flank. And I can definitely see aspects of Velvet's personality in her, but clearly Velvet's a little more full of herself compared to Rarity. Ah! Really wish I knew how to play fighting games properly. Ow, stop doing that. Okay, oh, oh nope, 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 nope. Wow, I really do not like dealing with those attacks from her. I really wish I knew how to do the supers properly. The problem is, a lot of these computer characters really want to get close to you, and it probably doesn't help that I can't... <laughs> okay, that was funny. Uh, I hate to say, we might have to keep her from a distance... Oh, got her! Down. <laughs> Barely, but she still won. 
I don't know, maybe if we get lucky we might be able to face all the characters. Oh, Oleander. This is another character I like too, Oleander. She's uh, more of a magic type, because she's a unicorn actually. I was. This was another character I was actually practicing with in the training mode as well. Which, I also really like her design also. Because unlike the Friendship is Magic Unicorns, which are kind of, you know, typical stuff you would see in most children's television animation, the design and look of Oleander is actually more based upon a more traditional unicorn. I like that. I really do. Come on. Ah! Her, see, her attacks work similar to Velvet, where she needs distance to fight. Come on. Oi, I'm... Oh, come on, Velvet. Calm the flip down. Oh, crap. I wish I knew how to do the teleporting thing, because some of the characters can do it. Like, some of the characters... Ow! Be nice. Okay, I'm... Once again, and I lost. Oh, come on. Round two. Fight. Ah! Come here. Anyway. But still, despite that I know I'm not very good at fighting games, this is still a cute game. It's still very fun. I kind of wish more bigger name people would play it. It would probably, I mean, here's the thing though, even though it did go through a crowdfunding and it did reach its goal, believe it or not. I mean, it did reach its goal, reached its crowdfunding goal and everything. It doesn't have a lot of attention brought to it though. And I really wish it did. Cause like, I mean, I, and I can kind of understand why not a lot of people would probably play this to a degree. Ah, crap, she got me good. Calm down. Let's try again. See if we can keep going. Pink highlights. So last season. Pretty hair won't save our world. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Fight. Ow! I chew all this. The weird irony also is as well is that the first character we faced. Uh, ah, crap. The first character we faced up against, which was uh, Arizona, she's actually voiced by Tara Strong, who, if you know anything relating to voice acting, she's the one who does the voice for Twilight Sparkle in the show. Which I guess that's one of the benefits with Lauren Foss helping them in this game. Ow! Oh, yeah, you were you weren't kidding, Lily Leander. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, logical, logical, I know. Round two. Fight. And, ow. Come on. Be nice. Ooh, good lord. I'm actually tempted to probably, after, if I can't do this round, I'm actually tempted to give up and to retry the arcade mode again to see who it matches me up against. Because it's all random, actually. I've already tested it out. And who you face up against in order is random. It's not the same characters every time. Oh my goodness, Velvet. Calm the flip down. Ooh, yeah. Not gonna lie, Oleander's a little tougher than she looks. Oh yeah, she's beating me. Oof. You're dumb, you lost, and you're dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're dumb, you lost, and you're dumb. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here for right now. <laughs> But still, I love some of the wit some of these characters say. I really do. Okay. Let's go with this again. Let's see if we get different matchups this time. Ooh, paprika! But yeah, as far as the characters go, on the website, they have all the lore to these characters. Believe it or not, it has a different chapter for each one. 
And you can tell, especially like I said, if you do watch Friendship is Magic or if you've ever used to, you recognize which character is what here, as far as who's who. And it's kind of obvious that Paprika here is uh, meant to represent Pinkie Pie. And it's, I mean, oh my goodness, it's like she's a dead, like she's an, like a lost long relative or something. <laughs> oh wow, crap. No, 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 no. God dang it. Stop. Oh my goodness. Okay. I thought only Ender was hard. I'm... Crap. Come on. Dang. Paprika, no. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm gonna lose to a llama. <laughs> I just lost to a llama. A very high-spirited llama. <laughs> but she's so cute, though. She's so cute. She doesn't look like she would be a problem for anybody. Ah, crap. Let go. Stop. Uh, okay, you need to stop cornering me. Well, that's what I get, I guess. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yep. This is just me getting beat up by a cartoon llama. Yep, I'm getting beat up by a cartoon llama, pretty much. Come on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> I like that Paprika just comes to the camera. Ah, uh, not this again. But still, not gonna lie, I kind of wish I knew how to do attacks properly. I'm doing a little better this time now. Oop. Ah, come on. I chew always. Get off my case. Okay, here we go. We're getting a little bit of a better upper hand. Not by much, but we're trying. Come on, stop beating the crap out of me. Uh, I lost again. I, I was doing a little better this time. A little better. Not by much, but we're trying. <laughs> But I will be honest, I don't know, this isn't really a game I can get too frustrated with, to be honest with you. I mean, it's good. It's designed well. I can't deny that this... Okay, how the flip did you do that? Come on. Oh, see, how does she do... How the flip do you do that, Paprika? Seriously. What are you doing? Like, how- where's the magic coming from? Where's all your energy coming from? Good lord. Seriously, game. Okay, I'm just getting- I'm just getting beat the flip up by a llama. <laughs> Crap. Oh my goodness, good lord. Okay, I'm- I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead! Jeez. Oh, good lord. Gosh darn, she she all sorts of nuts. <laughs> okay. Trying to be careful. I don't want to have this be a repeat of what it was earlier. But seriously though. Paprika nuts. She cray cray. <laughs> she is really crazy. And the sad part is she doesn't even look like she'd be that dangerous either. She just looks so full of fun and joy and life. It's like too much positivity. <laughs> like, really. She is just nuts. At least we're doing a little better than- Ah, and then stuff like that happens. Nope, nope, and she gets the upper hand. Nope, don't you dare. I'm- I'm trying to watch her because I do not trust her. And especially since she does that! Come on, Paprika. Wow. Once she gets going, there's just no stopping her. 
There is no stopping her. Oh, barely. <laughs> I don't know. We weren't doing our best earlier. Nah. Oh my goodness. Yep. See, this is the thing I don't like. I don't like how she gets this way. I'm trying to keep her at a distance if I can. Because I do not trust her when she's too close. Nope. Stop complaining about your floof. We don't have time for this crap. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I get cornered again. And I get cornered again. I cannot trust her. I really honestly can't. If I knew how to do supers, I'd have an easier time. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. P Paprika, I'm dead. It's like overkill with this girl. Jesus, good lord. <laughs> oh. Well, too bad I didn't hit her. <laughs> Seriously. I knew how to... Okay, what was the point of you doing that? You have me cornered. You can't get on the other side. Get the flip away! Move. See, I cannot trust this girl because of the way she... Jeez, good. Okay, alright, alright. Cannot trust you! Good lord. Yeah, why you little... Exactly, she is starting to get a little annoying. So, I'm sure I said this in the beginning. I can't guarantee I can beat arcade mode. This is all done for fun. And that's probably how this Let's Play is probably going to go. Oh, woof, we beat you. Barely. But thank God we won. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Not this again. I guess we're going to treat her similar to how we treated Paprika, in a way. Eh. That's the problem, though. We can't let her do any of the spell magic stuff, because that's how she gains her power and abilities, so... Get the freak out of our way. At least you can teleport. I don't know how to make mine teleport. Good lord. And I'm getting beat up now. Seriously, though. Ah, uh, we, we down. Oh, come on, be nice. So like I said, no guarantee I can beat arcade mode. I'm just kind of more fooling around than anything else. I mean, I, I like this game. I think it's really cute. And it's actually really fun once you probably can somewhat figure out how to play it properly. But like I said, I really wish maybe you could get a little more attention. Because that would probably definitely help it a little more. Because I did have noticed not too many people have played this game ever since it's been released, and this was released months ago. I think probably if more people were aware of it, if bigger names were aware of it, that would definitely help it a little more. Ow. I mean, I can kind of understand why it probably doesn't get a lot of attention, considering the art style of this game. I can kind of understand why not too many people would be playing it. I mean... You know, it's got an amazing art style, but considering how cutesy it is, I can kind of see why a lot of guys wouldn't be interested. Aw, there we go. God, you never had a chance. Only wins. Ah, boy oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna go and give up for right now. <laughs> What's one other thing we can do? This will do targets. Let's see. Let's try Velvet on easy. Let's see, can I actually reach the target? Ah, there we go. 
Oh, this is pretty simple. Ooh! And we did not do good, huh? Oh, so there's certain stuff we have to do. Eh. I don't know. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Let's see. Ah, I missed the one on the bottom. So one of the things I mentioned was doing three in a row. Ah, crap. <laughs> I missed the bottom one. Well, I got one of the stars. Let's see. Ah, crap. Ah, oh well. Let's see. Oh, there's there's different ways to get it. Hit three targets in the air about landing, spinning dizzy, spin two times, hit every target for projectile. Hmm. Uh, let's try a different target practice of her. She has a hard mode. Well, two hard modes. I kind of like this because it makes me think of like Smash Brothers in a way. Obviously, I'm supposed to be using stronger attacks for this one. I wish I could make her run. Ow. Sheesh, don't fall on yourself. Oh, well that's a thing I did. Uh, crap. How are we supposed to get that top one? See, this would be more better for someone who actually knew how to do the attacks. Wait, can I get her to- Oh, no, I have to be facing the other way. Nope, that's not it. I know there's a- How do I do the special? No, not that one. Maybe it's the backwards. No, there's- I- Can I not do the su- Oh, I can't do the super anyway. Crap. <laughs> I can't reach the target. Yeah, one moment, please. Uh, I wish I actually knew how to... Well, no, I would need an actual super attack to do that. I don't think I can reach that one otherwise. Seriously. Eh. Yeah. Alright, we done. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to see if we can get different matchups of her, other than just the ones we're starting with. We're either being given Oleander or Arizona. I don't know who it'll start me off with next. CPU can't let you do that? Okay. Not sure who that CPU is. Oh, did I change the color backs? Oh, I did! Oh, crap, no! <laughs> Ah, great. Oh, somehow that's a thing I did. Ooh, hello. Well, I am getting a little better because I already fought Paprika earlier. Stop beating the crap out of me! Yeah, I really wish I knew how to play fighting games properly. And that's one thing I wish I knew how to do. I'm sure all of them can do that, where they can kind of do a zip around sort of thing, or they can do some sort of attack that allows them to kind of zip over quickly other than just dashing over. Stop getting so close to me. Go away. I definitely like the different color palettes they give the characters too. They're always so cute and pretty. Move out of the way. Ow! Stop it. Getcha. Nope. Nope. Back off, girl. I ain't in the mood for this. I chihuahuas. No. Paprika, no. <laughs> in a way, you almost feel bad for fighting this character, considering that she is so happy, happy. She's like full of so much positivity. So much positive energy. I mean, seriously. 
Does she hang out with people like Jacksepticeye too much? I'm honestly questioning it. <laughs> I mean, she might for all I know, considering how much energy she's got. Seriously. Up, oh, up, oh, nope, nope. She's doing it again. Doing it again. Let go. Stop. Okay. Back off, girl. Don't, don't get too close now. Oh, <laughs> she knocked me out. <laughs> oh, and she's so happy. Look at her happiness. Oh, and she zipped around on me again. Okay, whoop. Nope, 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 nope. Ow! No! No! You're beating the crap out of the reindeer. <laughs> Seriously. Ow! I got hit by a freaking apple. Oh, come on. Nope, nope. Yeah, why you little... I like when Velvet says that. It makes her sound like she's like a Disney villain or something. <laughs> Ow! Give me some dis- and I'm done. Okay. Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> okay. We're done. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I definitely can't guarantee I can get through the arcade modes with these characters. And I know there's probably definitely a way to change the difficulty, but I- don't mind playing on the the main difficulty itself, in all honesty. Because it's not really- it's it's challenging, I guess is the best way to put it. I notice that the CPU name keeps changing. <laughs> Just notice that. But what I really like is that there's there's a lot of different palettes, which I wonder if that was part of the, probably the, the GoFundMe or the, the Kickstarter that they did. That I guess if you helped did a backing, there'd be like certain type of colors they give you. Like, what's the one? Like, this is her main color palette. Icy, Ice Pop, Solstice. So that's the one it accidentally changed to. That's another thing I noticed is that sometimes when I choose the characters, it'll accidentally change the different ones. But look at this, though. It's very nice. Some of these are really, really nice. Um, definitely like a lot of the color choices for some of these characters. <laughs> Arctic Blue. That is so pretty. That is a real nice one, actually. Oh, dear. <laughs> This one, I think this one's based upon Fennekin, the Pokemon, because of the colors. But still, though, I really like some of these colors that they chose. Some of them don't have as many compared to others, I've noticed. Like, I think Velvet has a lot of them. I know Oleander has a lot. I'm not entirely bird of prey. I wonder what that relates to. And that's mainly about it for her. But, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that's, that's them, them's fighting herds. We went ahead and played a little bit with Velvet. I don't know, maybe next time we'll do some of the other characters. Because I at least want to try at least with each one at least once. And like I pointed out, I'm not an expert when it comes to fighting games. I'm not really pretty good with all that stuff like combos and specials and all that stuff. I just try to do the best I can, really. So maybe next time we'll play one of the other characters. I definitely know one I really probably would like to try. Definitely, and I probably want to try, maybe I'll try to practice for her in my own time, is Oleander, because I really love her design. I think she's one of my favorite ones, along with Velvet. <laughs> I mean, I love all these characters' designs. They are all very nicely designed. And to think, they used to be pony characters, until Lauren Faust worked magic a bit, so... Oh, I like Palm, too. Palm's also cute. There's Palm, Paprika. All these characters are really good, I love the music form. But... Yeah, no, that's about it. I think we'll stop doing that for a while. And, uh, probably next time. I don't know who we'll do. Maybe we'll do Oleander or maybe Palm. One of them. I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't know if I just want to do them in order anyway. And just see what we can do with them. Maybe do targets, maybe not. I don't know. This is just me just basically fooling around with the game. Uh, but like I said in the beginning, this is early access. It is available through Steam. And while it's not too bad price. Well, it's kind of okay price wise, I guess. It, normally it runs about normal $14.99. At the time when I went ahead and bought this, I bought it actually last night. I went ahead and bought it on sale because they were doing a winter sale. But like I said, it's still early access. There's other stuff you can do in here, actually. You don't need to just only do just the fighting. There is actually a lobby here where you can kind of go in and I guess talk to other people. 
And apparently they just added in a multiplayer as well. But like I said for right now, I'll just probably fool around in a single player. I'm hoping maybe they'll put it in the story mode, maybe eventually when they put that in. That's definitely one thing we can do with this series. But like I said, it's still early access. There's still updates and changes being done. I've actually watched other people give it a shot themselves and I could tell from what they were doing to what I was doing that clearly some stuff have gone into updates with this game because I noticed some people that whenever they did their videos, not even both of the characters would talk or if they did, there wouldn't even be full mouth movement or anything. So in mine I noticed at least both characters when they would talk to each other, you know, they actually were lip syncing and everything. It was in sync. So. Definitely a lot of, definitely a couple updates have gone into this game already. But like I said, <laughs> this is still fun though. It's still it's still a cute game and it's still fun. But next time we'll probably play one of the next characters. I don't know, we'll kinda of fool around in Arcama with one of them again. And uh, we'll probably dev each of the characters, that way we can give each of them a bit of limelight and I guess eventually when the developers can make a story mode available, we'll also do that. But regardless though, if you guys enjoyed this game so far, despite me trying my best, if you like what you saw, you know the drill. Like, face, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that said, I will see you guys around later. Much. Bye.